Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps today. Oh, I'm excited to just spend some time with you all and just have a conversation. I thought we could take a look at what's going on over on Twitter, take a look at what people are talking about, some of the funny memes, all having to do with, you guessed it, Harold and Fraud, Harry and Meghan. So without further ado, let's just dive right in and take a look and see what people are saying and have a conversation about it. Thanks for being here, everybody. Honk, honk. Oh yeah, something I'm going to try to start doing once in a while because I'm so bad at remembering this. If you're new here, I'm Jen. <laughs> I'm trying to introduce myself. I'm Jen. Thanks for being here. I always get asked, what's the honk honk about? Honk honk is what our club is called. We're the Drunk Goose Club. Uh, I was named that be from a sugar, a uh, rabid Megan supporter who sound said I sound like a drunk goose, to which I say, honkity honk. I wear that name proudly. So now we're the Drunk Goose Club. Again, I'm Jen. Thank you so much for being here. Now let's jump in. Okay, so this one is by the Caribbean Prince, and it says, There's a pattern of Meghan's toxic behavior that Prince Harry refuses to accept or acknowledge. People are tired of taking blame for her narcissism and his stupidity. The problem lies with them, not us. Stop the lies. Go live your life with millions in the bank. All right. But they included this, which I thought was so brilliant. I just want to spend a minute and look at it. I just, I can't put a big enough exclamation point by all of this. I, I just, this is exactly what I talk about in my videos as well. All right, let's take a look. It says, the British public are racist. Harry's friends are toxic. The Markles are toxic. Harry's family are toxic and racist. The British media is toxic. The Raglan family is toxic. Spotify is toxic. YouTubers are toxic and racist. All their ex-staff are toxic and ist. Is there a common pattern here? common denominator. Thank you for this. This is just so nice to see in print because this is the exact same thing we've all been saying as well. It's interesting how everybody else is the problem, but never them. It, it's just their, their classic deflect, deflect, deny, lie, whatever they got to do to wiggle out of things, right? The worst people ever, and if you dare call them out on any of this behavior, well, then you get classified as one of the ist words and or toxic. It's interesting that it's never their fault. It's never their problem. The hypocrisy continues, right? Okay, so this one's by Harry's gray suit, and it says, Harry and Meghan spending time apart for the sake of their strained marriage. Whatever. Next week, some stupid PR article will say they're renewing their wedding vows. That just gives me such a laugh because side trip here. If you're a fan of Real Housewives at all, if you've ever watched them in the past, whatever, that is their go-to move. They have horrible seasons of fighting with their spouses and then all of a sudden they renew vows and that's usually the kiss of death. Usually that means they're headed for divorce. But um, I think where Harry's suit, gray suit is going with this is it is ridiculous. This is the new thing. It's, it's this horrible news cycle that they like to uh, throw information at where they pretend like they're splitting up and then all of a sudden they're taking romantic holidays together, just the two of them, because that's all they do is stuff for just the two of them. Just another asinine way to try to keep their names in the paper. I go back to it all the time. She's lost a significant amount of weight. Her ring, I would assume, just doesn't fit. I know the ring is a controversial topic. I've heard the different theories about where that ring is, I honestly don't even care at this point. It's just something else she does to keep her name out there. Oh, look, she's not wearing the ring. She probably sold the damn thing. Who knows? <laughs> Harry's gray suit continues and says, I hope these two ungrateful, entitled, arrogant, selfish, money-hungry, lying losers stay together on that damn bench forever. That can be their karma for all this hateful, nasty stuff that they've done. I love it. I think that's so great. And I love how she wrapped up um, this this post. I just, yeah, I yeah, exactly. Stay on that damn bench forever. That's your karma. Enjoy that. And I always say the same thing. Enjoy the hell of your own making. All right, let's talk mystified. Friend of the channel, sometimes in chat, a lot of fun to talk to, says, 
Why would Audible make a deal with Meghan Markle? There's nothing about her more annoying than the sound of her voice. I love how you type this. It all gets I can hear your frustration on the keyboard. It's It literally makes you turn off whatever is making that obnoxious noise. Nobody wants to hear her speak. All you have to do is watch a video from Kevin Costner's charity event. They played Keep Away with not one but two microphones. I love it. And those are her people. Audible does not want to get Markle like Spotify. Hashtag Meghan Markle is a line grifter. Hashtag unsuccessful. Okay, thank you, Mystified, for this. This has had me laughing all day. Yeah, it's somebody who gets comments on her, my own voice all the time. I gotta say, at least it's not that. <laughs> oh, you guys. So I have been posting her speech bingos a lot, and I get so many funny comments. Some of you saying it's your favorite videos that I do, and I enjoy doing them, but then I have a lot of you saying, I can't. I can't take her voice. I can't take the weird word salads, the saccharine sweet, the, all, all that. It's just, ugh, it's too, the weird... <laughs> like flirtiness she gets, the weird glee in her voice talking about herself. It is off the charts to listen to. It is hard. So I totally get it when you say, I have to watch those on mute. I get it. Turn on closed captions and enjoy. Okay. This one was shared by Bird Lady. It says it'd be impossible to make yourself even more unpopular, but it looks like she's going to give it a go. <laughs> I, I say that all the time. I love it. Yes. I'm here for it. It is so funny because I feel like the desperation is off the charts right now. We're getting a hundred million fake news stories. I was talking to Jay about it. We were hypothesizing on why right now. And he had such a good answer to this. He's like, well, that uh, Samantha Markle case, you know, is coming up in a few weeks. So Megan wants to flood the news. So that way when you, I don't when you look her up, that's not what's being shown. It's more about these fake news stories like Audible wants to give them a hundred million, whatever, you know, whatever bullshit they're peddling at this point. All about distraction. And I think he's right. The other thing that is occurring to me is in November here, we got William with the earth shot, of course, and then we have Charles's birthday. Of course, we know that that stupid book is coming out. It's just a lot going on in November. So I expect way more madness from the pair of them. And it's going to be hilarious to watch. Okay, so this one is from Madame Pinocchio. And uh, it says, best dressed couple of the world. Hashtag Prince and Princess of Wales. Uh, earned 9 out of 10 votes while Harry and Meghan ranked bottom with 1.5. Uh, hashtag Harry and Megan lost again. Okay, this is something I haven't talked about, but I find this so fun. All right, so I'm sure you know, but in case you didn't, there's this thing that went out that called Prince William and Catherine, Princess of Wales, the best dressed couple in the world. All right, I love it. I don't know who's voting. I don't care. I agree with it because I think they look fabulous, number one. And number two, you know, you know this burns the ass of that that one's wife, right? The wife. Um, because she spends a fortune on ridiculous quote-unquote fashion. I mean, I've made a million videos on this, but um, the ridiculous amount of money spent and just to have it not fit, not tailor, you know, all the things to be messy. And yet, I love this. So William and Catherine got voted best dress and they got like bottom of the barrel there. And you, I, I just love knowing that that would really hurt. It's funny of all the shitty things they've done. I just imagine this would really hurt Megan. This would really bother her. I think is the word. Um, she'll find a way to play victim again, but, uh, I think this would really bother her and I find it delicious and yeah, I tend to agree. All right. I always have to point out Lean Meme Machine. They're wonderful. <laughs> They're over on Twitter. They always make the funniest memes about Harry and Meghan. So they have this one. It says, how are we going to make more millions? Simple babe, I'll become a foot model. <laughs> so they, they fixed what uh, Family Guy messed up. I wish they had fixed Harry's hair too, but they fixed her feet. And I think that's really funny. All right. And then <laughs> we have this one. 
It says every time Harry travels alone. So this is something I just talked about. He he does look totally different when he travels alone. I think he looks much happier in general. But they found this picture and they said, relax, dude. It's your imagination because Harry's saying, please tell me she's not behind me. And look at that photo. I love it. It's reminiscent of the look that she gave Catherine Princess of Wales. Uh, that I used in a video recently, but it's so good. That's great. Well, guys, I'm ending this one here. I'm posting this back up on the screen because I just think it's so good. Shall we never forget? Oh, we won't. We won't forget this, but uh, I just wanted to share it again. But guys, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for all the wonderful comments. Thank you to everybody who has picked up the new merch. We have the Not Bloody Likely and a lot of you guys seem to really to be really happy about that. And that's awesome. I'm happy too. I'm happy you're happy. So thank you to everybody who's picked it up. Definitely check that out. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff over there. We got Recollections May Vary in a world of Megan's Be a Catherine. All the things. Check it out. Uh, I'll put a link in the comments. But also, I do encourage you to check out Patreon. Patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. That's where we do the bonus deep dives, the extra content. We got stuff going up like every other day over there. It's a great group. I really enjoy just all the stuff we share over there and, and have a lot of fun with it. So check that out. If that's something you're interested in, you can become an executive producer and have your name on the screen like you see right now. You guys are the best bunch of flockers. I can't tell you how much this lady goose really loves you all and I appreciate you and I hope you have the best day. I can't wait to bring you more stuff like this very soon. Take care. Hong Kong, everybody. Thank you.